Hello everyone, it's PC Helper here and in this video I'll be showing you how to fix isden.dll and anarch.dll error while installing the game WWE 2K20. So this error appears generally when you are installing it from a repack but if you are having this problem while normal installation also then also this will work for you. So I have around 5 workarounds which will surely work for you. So watch the video till the end and your problem will be surely fixed. So let's get started. first step is a really important one. In this one, we'll be clean booting a PC. So if you know how to clean boot your PC, you can simply do it. Or if you have no idea on how to do it, I've made a separate quick guide of 2 minutes 45 seconds in which I have shown how to do it. It's a complete and quick guide. So I will provide you the link of this video in the description of this video. You can access that by clicking in the description, clicking the link in the description of this video. And just watch this video, clean boot your PC and proceed to the second step. Now the second step works for most of the users. In this one, we'll be disabling our antivirus. So different PCs have different antivirus software. So I will be showing you how to disable Windows Defender as it's a default antivirus installed in Windows. So just search for Defender in your search bar and go to Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Wait for it to load. And here, it might take few seconds to load depending on your PC's configuration. Here under Virus and Threat Protection Settings, click on Manage Settings. In Manage Settings, turn off real-time connection and you don't have to turn it off permanently. You have to turn it off for the meantime your installation is taking place. So once you have installed the game successfully and the game is working, then you can again turn it on. But till the game is being installed, just keep it off. So this that's it for the first step and it works for most of the users. Now let's come to the third step and I have to mention that third and the fourth step are the most important one. So please watch them carefully and perform them before, before installing your game. So all you have to do is just change the name of your repack folder and change the directory of the installed game. So the PC I'm using for recording is not having WW2K20 repack. So I'll be showing you with the example of Vampire repack. You have to do exact same thing with the game WW2K20 repack. So just right click on your repack folder. This is my folder in which I'm having the repack of this game. Just rename it to anything else. You can name it to Vampire1. For you it will be WW2K20. Just add 1, 2 or anything else you want to add in front of this name and that's the half part now just open this setup please note that you have to do the same with WW2K20 game wait for it to load once you have started the setup click on OK so here it is so just click on next first limit installer to 2 GB of RAM usage if you are having this option in your repack setup if you have no option like this then just click on next then click on next and here browse to anywhere in your D drive or any other drive except C drive. So the most important part is that you don't have to install your game in C drive. But if you have only C drive available in your PC, all you, what you can do is just change your default folder. So by default it will, it will be in program file in 286. You can change it lo its location to, into program files or any other folder in C drive. All you have to do is just change its default location and preferably you have to change its drive. So I'll be installing it in D drive and that's it for the third step and it works for most of the users. It's a really important step so please do perform it. Now let's proceed to the fourth step. It's also a really important one. So once you have opened your setup, in the fourth step what we'll be doing is before starting the installation, we have to change the setup's priority to high. And to do so, just right click on the taskbar and go to task manager and here setup and you will be finding the setup under apps. Just go to its details. You have to do the same with WW2K20 setup. And here you will find setup.exe and setup.tmp. Just set their priority to real time. Right click on them and set their priority to real time. And that's it. That's how you can change your setup priority to high. And once you do it, now your game will be surely working without their isden.dll or anarch.dll. But if you're still having this issue, then proceed to the last step and it will surely fix your problem if it hasn't been fixed yet. So let's proceed to the last step. In the last step, we'll be downloading the DLL files. So the DLL files we have to download is download isdin.dll and here go to the first link by dllfiles.com and in the new tab, I'll be writing download anarch.dll So here, here also click on the first link by dllfiles.com. 
so just scroll down and download the latest version of this file i'll be downloading this one as you can see it's written 32 bit don't worry even if you are having 64 bit version because this file works for both 32 and 64 bit pcs download it and do the same with an arc.dll and once it's downloaded just go to your downloads folder here is my download folder here just search for isden.dll first of all and here it is isden.dll open it and here select this file and extract it to acer c or your c drive go to windows and then if you are having a 32 bit version of pc i if you are having a 32 bit pc just extract them to system 32 but if you are having a 64 bit pc extract them to syswar 64 i am having a 64 bit pc so i'll be extracting it to syswar 64 and replace yes to all and you have to do exactly same with anarch.dll just search for anarch.dll open this rar file and extract it to syswar 64 if you are having 64 bit pc or and system 32 if you are having a 32 bit 32 bit pc so i'll again search for syswar 64 and here it is and i'll be extracting it so that was the last step and once you have performed all the five steps your error will be surely eliminated and your game will be installed fine and will be working fine so thank you for watching this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day